Uh, hi everybody. In this video, I will talk about the, the differences between croup and epiglottitis. Okay. First of all, uh, I will talk about the, the anatomical differences. Uh, as you know, croup has other name has other name which is acute laryngeal bronchitis, uh, which which imply that uh, the croup affecting both subglossic uh, space plus or minus uh, tracheobronchial tree, while epiglottitis will affect the epiglottis. So, as you can see from this this uh, graph, is that uh, the subglottic uh, the subglottic area of especially the glottic glot glottis is affected during uh, epiglottitis. While in the subglottis area is affected by uh, croup. Okay, this the, this is the first uh, differences between croup and epiglottitis. Then the microbiology. In the microbiology, the croup is mostly uh, caused by uh, viral causes, so, uh, mainly the para influenza virus, uh, but also there is influenza A, B, and uh, RSV. Okay, while in bacteria, uh, while the epiglottitis is affected, uh, is caused mainly by uh, bacterial causes and especially by H, H influenza virus. The other thing is that the clinical presentation between uh, croup and epiglottitis is also different. Okay, for croup, uh, it's mostly uh, come like gradual, and like epiglottitis, which is acu acute and sudden. Uh, on the other hand, croup is uh, present with the three S, which are strider, subglottic swelling, and uh, seal, uh, seal bark cuffing. Okay, and while epiglottitis mostly again uh, present with uh, acute, uh, like toxic or severe presentation, with uh, drooling, uh, with and and during examination. With using a laryngoscope, we can find a chili epiglottis. When the epiglottis is uh, solid, like like a ch chili. Okay. The other thing is that since the epiglottis, uh, since the epiglottis play important role for secure this epiglottis, since it's play uh, important role in sc in securing uh, the esophagus. Uh, sorry, ensuring the uh, the trachea during swallowing, uh, and directing the the food to the esophagus. It's uh, when when the epiglottis is inflamed, uh, the patient present with uh, dys dysphagia. Okay, so when the epiglottis is inflamed, and any person swallow, uh, irritation of the epiglottis will present as uh, dysphagia. Okay. Next is radiology. Uh, in, in radiology, croup usually present with stable sign. Okay, and I'll explain this uh, now. And uh, while the epiglottis is effect, is present, uh, in radio, in the, the, radio, the radiological finding is uh, the thumb sign. Okay, this is the stable sign of croup. Okay, since there is again subglottic uh, 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 narrowing of uh, the larynx. Okay, so it's present as stable sign. Okay, it's like narrowing here. Okay, while in uh, epiglottitis, it's present as thumb sign of uh, during uh, because of swallowing of the epiglottis. Okay, and finally, the management of uh, management of uh, croup and epiglottitis. Uh, croup usually. Uh, uh, Treated by nebulizer, uh, epinephrine, okay, and uh, plus minus uh, steroid, uh, in, a, in a severe case, okay, and when when needed, we may intubate the patient. While in epiglottis, uh, in, sorry, in epiglottitis, we have to uh, urgently intubate the uh, the patient, okay, in the presence of uh, anesthetists and uh, and. Auto logist Okay. And this is just some summary for what I said. Okay, the differences between croup and epiglottitis. The anatomical, usually is this by subglottis. Okay. 
Why here is the MB losses? Okay, on the viral causes versus bacterial causes, uh, the presentation is really clinical. As uh, the clinical presentation of group again is the three the three is S, while epiglottitis become toxic, dysphagia, withdrawing, uh, and cheery epiglottis. The radiological finding and finally the management. That's for today. So thanks a lot for. Uh, for watching my video, uh, I hope that I, I hope that uh, it's, it's something benefit for you. Thanks a lot.